Look at that penetration. The blade is almost halfway buried through the chain mill, through the mannequin, through the cardboard, and probably hit the backing on the back. So I hunt jungles all over the world. And if I was gonna go to a jungle anywhere on the planet, <clears throat> I'd probably take this wing spear. Because you can actually hunt with it, you can chop with it, and if you do get in a deadly situation, you can stab and then pull your weapon back out. So it's always with you. The wing spear. the links, we've cut the clothing, we've cut through the body, we've cut through the cardboard and into that and that is stuck rock solid right there. Then said it best yesterday, think about this, if you want an economical great way of owning a spear and having fun throwing it, take a look at the American hunting spear. Hi there everyone, here's the European Spear. Uh, this design's been around for the last thousand years. I'm gonna go to about spear distance right here. And now, let's say I have to save my buddy. I'm gonna go to about five yards, which is about 15 feet, which is about here. If I need to save him and make a, a miracle throw, this is where I do it, right outside the range of my weapon. And here I go to save my buddy. Okay, here we go. It looks like it went completely through the chain mill here. Let me try to wiggle this out. And that's how much penetration we got through the mail. Right there. That's pretty good. European spear, everyone. Just saved my buddy.